Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and welcome back to Late Night News. Today, our top story is some brief election uh, recap in terms of the debate, but we're going to get into our top headlines of the day first. Firstly, the father accused by the Appalachian High School, the father of Appalachian High School shooter, seeks to be jailed separately. He was uh, convicted. I believe he was convicted. He's charged with four separate counts of involuntary manslaughter, uh, two of eight second-degree murder, and eight of cruelty to children and being held without bond. Meanwhile, Southern California's wildfires continue to rage and rage and are visible from space. U.S. Senators are expected to hold the Stewart Healthcare CEO Ralph D. De La Torre in contempt for not showing up to answer for bankruptcy charges. Quote from Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana, if someone shows contempt for the people of the United States by not coming to testify to both bo both to potentially clear his name but also give insight, then it is a contemptible thing. The company, which owned more than a three dozen hospitals across eight states, declared bankruptcy earlier this year and has been struggling to find buyers for its facilities. Again, this is contributing to the uh, health care deserts. Biden wears a, wears a fucking Trump hat as a 9-11 unity jet fucking. I, I, Anyways, to our main story. Uh, early polls say Harris won the debate. Donald Trump did so bad that Taylor Swift endorsed her. And also that led to a flood of voter registration. Like... I watched, I was uh, in the hospital while watching the debate, but I watched it for about an hour before I, you know, the knockout drugs kicked in. Um, mm, mm -mm. It could be best surmised as thusly. When asked a question about her policies on economics, social issues, and, you know, uh, and, foreign, and foreign policy, uh, Kamala Harris uh, answered. You know, because you, as a candidate, when you get those types of answers, you should be able to articulate your positions and, you know, generally know your platform off the top of your head. And Trump would say, nuh uh, for two minutes. Why would he say, nuh uh, for two minutes? It's because Kamala would say something along the lines of, my, my opponent wants to do X, Y, and Z thing. That he absolutely does want to implement and is in in is hiring people to implement. And and this is why it's bad. And then he would spend the next two minutes waffling on about uh I don't know. Uh transgender immigrant terrorists coming to Haitian immigrant Transgender Haitian immigrant terrorists coming to eat your cats and dogs. That wasn't a joke. He actually said that. He actually claimed that transgender illegal aliens were coming to eat your cats and dogs in Springfield. So with that, I'm going to send you to pre-recorded Evan. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, Please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.